Well, folks, it's the last day of September, and you guys had to have known that on the last day of September, that no surprise, I'm going to be talking about Nintendo Switch 2 again. Now, it is because we do have some additional information today about games coming to the system, and maybe games not coming to the system, coming from a bunch of reliable insiders that have really good track records. And so that's always exciting to talk about, but obviously, we're talking about a system that hasn't come out yet. So you have to take everything with the appropriate amount of skepticism and not necessarily take what we talk about with Nintendo Switch 2 as facts. I think a lot of you guys already know this. It's okay to be excited. It's okay to be hyped. It's okay to have your hopium and your copium, but you need to remember that, hey, we don't actually know anything until Nintendo and these third-party companies tell us, but what we do know is a pretty good idea of expectations for this platform. And we have more of those expectations set today. So before I dive into this, I wanna remind you that we are on a road to 150,000 subscribers. So I'd appreciate it if you would subscribe to the channel, drop a like if you're enjoying the video, and you know what, go ahead and smash that bell icon to be notified of all future uploads and live streams. All right, guys, let's dive into our first little bit here. And this comes from a post by Tom Henderson, who is the owner of Insider Gaming, which has become slowly over time one of the most reliable places online for video game leaks out there and they have a really really good track record now tom henderson himself used to be a journalist at several different really big outlets over the years that's how he garnered all his connections and spun off to start his own thing now he posted this over on x and he said really excited for the nintendo switch 2 and its tech we'll see quote launching on xbox series x s PlayStation 5 and Nintendo Switch 2 and PC, end quote, a heck of a lot in 12 to 18 months. Now, of course, this isn't saying the system's going to be here, you know, like launching a year from now, but what it is saying is that, hey, a year to a year and a half from now, a ton of third-party games are going to be coming to not just the next generation systems in PC, but also Nintendo's next generation system in Nintendo Switch 2. This bodes very well for third-party support, and that is something that this system might be able to check a box above what Nintendo Switch was able to do. Yes, on Switch, we do have a number of third-party titles, way more than we got on Wii U, and arguably even a little bit better than we got on Wii since we were getting dumbed down versions of games on Wii. However, it is really nice to see that we're going to be getting the support. We already know Call of Duty is coming, you know, as soon as that deal closes on October 18th. But yeah, it's going to be really exciting to see what this means. And again, for launch timing, all this really tells me is, hey, the system should be out at least 12 months from now. Well, 12 months from now is September, or I guess you could look at October at this point. So yeah, it's going to launch sometime before then. And that is really, really exciting. Now, Diving further into this, a few days ago, we talked about Necro Felipe, who is the owner of Nintendo Universo, and you guys know his track record at this point. We've talked about him a ton, and he's been right every step of the way, whether it was with Nintendo Switch 2 information, which, again, pretty scant at the moment, but at least he's part of that. Uh, he's been right about Nintendo Directs and games that were going to be in Directs and games coming to Switch that weren't announced in the past, and but the guy has built up a pretty solid track record, one that you should really pay a lot of attention to, and he went out of his way you know, a few days back to say that Far Cry 7 was going to be day and date on Nintendo Switch 2. And yes, nobody's refuting that, and that is really, really good news. But we saw him kind of hint at Monster Hunter because someone asked him, hey, is this going to be like Monster Hunter and, and be on Switch 2, uh, just like all the other platforms? And he just said yes, which you could interpret that many different ways. Obviously, the way we interpret it was, oh, he's saying Monster Hunter is going to be there, but he really wasn't like putting a stamp on it, and the words never actually came out of his mouth, or in this case, his fingertips. Well, he went over to Fami Boards and stated the following. Next mainline Monster Hunter to be released on the next generation Switch or Switch NG. Yes. So what he's saying is, yes, that next Monster Hunter game is indeed going to Nintendo Switch 2. Now, what's interesting is we actually have at least some sort of idea of when or what this game's going to be because there was a Capcom leak some time ago that has proven 100% correct and it comes from internal documents and they included this following image here, which you're seeing dates all the way back to the end of 2020 and you see Monster Hunter Rise on there, Resident Evil Village, Stories 2, Resident Evil Outrage is listed as well, which by the way, Outrage has still 
not been released or talked about. So very interesting. Again, these are all from internal documents at Capcom. So this is like a legitimate thing. Well, you'll notice when you scroll forward all the way to fiscal year 23, and again, this is 2023 going into 2024, they run in the same fiscal year Nintendo does, which is April to the end of March of the following year. So they had Monster Hunter 6 listed as quarter two of fiscal year 23. Now, obviously we are well past quarter two of fiscal year 23. We're in the midst of quarter three or just about to enter quarter three and Monster Hunter 6 still hasn't been announced. Now, clearly the plan was for it to come out this fall, but the interesting part here is when you think about this, the Monster Hunter anniversary, the 20th anniversary is happening in March of 2024. Now, what's really cool about that is there's also a rumor out there that, hey, according to Capcom's own financial call, hey, you know what? We're going to have a game releasing in March that's going to sell in the millions. That seems to be the interpretation. Some people have argued maybe the interpretation is they're going to announce a game that's going to sell in the millions in March. Either way, they literally have a 20th anniversary of Monster Hunter page live online that's saying March of 2024. So there's going to be Monster Hunter something, whether it's announcing this game or releasing this game. Now, since the game was actually originally planned for this year, it releasing in March would, one, still get it in before the end of fiscal year 2023, and obviously give it a shot at releasing in March, which is also when people have rumored that, hey, the Nintendo Switch 2 might be coming out in March. And what if this is a major launch game from third-party companies on the platform. Again, I'm not saying the Tennis Switch 2 is coming in March. The March date was floated out there from Gamescom. We have yet to hear the rumor mill coming out of Tokyo Game Show. We'll probably hear something about the Tokyo Game Show stuff. Apparently, Nintendo had... Well, I'll say this. We have heard some things. People who attended the business area of Tokyo Game Show have already pointed out that Nintendo had a massive, like way larger than normal presence in the business area of Tokyo Game Show. We all know what that's about, right? They're, they're, they're courting those Japanese developers to make games for Nintendo Switch 2. That's why it's much bigger than their typical presence at the business area, which again, isn't open to the public. So you're not going to see images and screenshots and people putting out cell phone pics. Oh, here's Nintendo's booth. No, it's not publicly accessible. It's literally just for developers behind the scenes. That being said... I'm really excited to see what this means. Uh, obviously, Monster Hunter, he, he's very, he's basically saying Monster Hunter 6 is coming. That does mean Monster Hunter Rise is not Monster Hunter 6. I know some people felt like maybe that was Monster Hunter 6. They're not considering it to be Monster Hunter 6. Is this going to be a Monster Hunter World 2 situation? Are they literally just going to call this Monster Hunter 6 and it's more like traditional Monster Hunter? Is it something else entirely? We don't really know. But what is clear is this is definitely the next Monster Hunter game. Because as you can see, there's nothing else on the list stating Monster Hunter heading all the way through fiscal year 24. So at this point, we just have to presume that this is either the game plan to come on March, it's supposed to sell millions, or they're going to unveil it in March. Whatever the case might be, this game seems to be coming to Nintendo Switch 2, according to Necro Felipe. Now, we're moving on beyond that. A while back, we reported on a leak from a previously credible leaker called I Am Hero 2, who came back because someone was impersonating him. And in that leak, it included a Final Fantasy VII remake, you know, and not just saying that it was coming to Nintendo Switch 2, but that it looked impressive. In fact, technically, when you look back on the leak, it doesn't really say it's coming to Nintendo Switch 2. What it says is it, it looks as good as the PlayStation 5 version on Nintendo Switch 2, which really just could mean they tested the game on Nintendo Switch 2 that's different than bringing a game to Nintendo Switch 2. You know what I mean? Like you could test a lot of things, but testing is not we plan to bring it. Although typically you're testing things you are thinking about bringing. Anyways, the point is the inference that people took from that is that Final Fantasy VII Remake, some version of it, is coming to Nintendo Switch 2. Well, Nate the Hate hasn't really agreed with this the entire time, and he put out some clarifying details over on Family Boards where he said the following, The Final Fantasy VII Remake is not a current plan. Could it happen? Eventually? Sure. Is it an active plan at this moment? No. A Switch 2 release exists in the same way an Xbox release does. If Square wants to do it, they can and will. But no such plan exists at present. In other words... Don't expect it, folks. But it's not impossible if they do decide to do it one day. Also, nobody really knows how long the platform exclusivity runs for Sony in the first place. So at this point, it could come. We don't know. 
we're all just guessing and throwing out uh, our hopes and dreams, I suppose. So at this point, I probably wouldn't expect Final Fantasy VII Remake to be on Switch 2, Switch 2, Nintendo Switch 2, anytime soon. But uh, I do suspect that they might bring it someday, just like they might bring it to Xbox. Time will tell on that front. And I think it might be a little bit more enticing on Nintendo Switch 2 if the install base is growing really rapidly because that's the mistake many third-party companies made last time around, that they waited and waited and waited and were like, oh, we're not going to support Switch. And next thing you know, it's the biggest platform in the world. And there's a lot of regret that they didn't put their full support behind it. I think companies are going to jump on much sooner this time. And of course, Tom Henderson's tweet sort of agrees. Hey, a lot of these multi-platform PlayStation, Xbox, and PC-only games in the future are also going to be on Switch 2. Anyways, guys, take all this for what you will. Let me know your thoughts on all of it down in the comments below. I'm really excited. As always, you can stay tuned here for all the latest on Nintendo Switch 2 and Nintendo in general. We might even have a Mario Wonder news bit going up later because we have a bunch of new information on Mario Wonder. Of course, again, if you don't want any new information, don't watch that video. But if you do, awesome. I'll catch you guys in the next video.